Welcome back to Sunstar Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play Warhammer 40,000 Gladius. Yeah, not Battle Sector, Gladius this time. Now this game has just had a new DLC come out, it's called a Specialist Pack and it essentially gives one extra unit to each faction. And so I thought it might be a good time to check it out. Also during the week of the 3rd to 10th June, they have a Warhammer Skulls Festival, which means that a lot of Warhammer games are at a discount and there are a lot of new releases. So just like the special specs. So if you like Warhammer, you might want to check it out. Now might be a good time because you could get it for better prices and so on. Now we're going to start a new game here for Warhammer Gladius. Now, you can start by picking a faction. Now, what I love is that each faction has like a cutscene, and I watched this Oryx cutscene, and it was like super fun. But we're gonna have to play as the Necrons, because we played Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus on the channel from start to finish, and we fought against so many Necr Necrons, and now I kind of want to fight as them. And uh, if they were Tyranids, I would fight as Tyranids, because in the Warhammer Barda sector that we play, we um fighting against them, but we don't have them, so we're gonna go here. Now, it is an easy challenge, so it's going to be pretty easy for me to show off. They can only found cities on tombs, that's pretty cool. And, and what the new unit that comes in the specialist pack is essentially uh, Canoptic Raids. And they are kind of like a ghost slash ninja unit. Essentially, they're assassins, but they phase in and out of reality so they can move through any terrain without penalty. And they can also kind of create terror and fear in your enemies, which I think is really, really cool. And we have an ability of dimensional card where infantrymen can teleport to cities. That's really, really nice. All right, so let's go. An, etern an eternity ago, the Necros forsook the frailties of flesh for deathless bodies wrought from cold metal, in their subjugation to the star gods known as the Catan. In their new immortal form, they took on the ten masters of the galaxy the old ones, and in Aeon's long battle they defeated them. In their desperation the old ones seeded the galaxy with psychic races, thus awakening the hordes of the war, and the Necrons, weakened by a simultaneous battle for, of liberation from the Catan, were treated to their home worlds. There, falling into hibernation, they slumbered for untold time. As other races were born and drove themselves to extinction, they lay deep and undisturbed in multitudinous worlds, tended and defended in their not sleep by the monstrous canoptic automata. Oh yeah, I remember that from the Mechanicus game. Now across the galaxy, they are awakening. Even here, this crown's world's master circuits are stirring. The Necrons are now unthinking machines, safe for their few lords and triarch, are arming themselves for war again. Their technology is millennia ahead of that of the galaxy's younger races. Soon, legions of sinister advanced war machine will pour from the tombs buried beneath the planet to conquer and enslave. Nothing mortal is safe. Let's go. Let, let the enemies be, be random and we'll just stick to and any basic setup that we can have. For eons we waited. Waited for new life to cover our world. Life weak with the warp's taint. The time was ripe. Ripe to wake. To finally defeat the old ones. To take the galaxy for ourselves. Our old enemies left us a gift. One that tore the planet apart and trapped us here. This is a rude awakening, but this planet shall learn to fear the Necrons again. We really appreciate that they look on the positive side of things. Like our enemies left us a gift. Mm hmm. Totally. Oh, look at that eunuch. Ah, it's so ugly. But it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. There's no need to freak out. Because we can... Uh, the way this game works is that you use your first unit, like the, the special unit, in this case the spiders, to found a city and that unit will disappear. So that's what I'm going to do immediately. Now we need to build a city on an Akon tomb, so we have to place it here. If you're playing with other factions, for example with the orcs, you actually have a choice. So you might be able to like choose a good area and it's really important because it can give you some interesting bonuses but in our case we just have to place it over here. Now the first thing I would like to build is a summoning core 
because it allows me to build infantry and creatures as well as generates research and increases loyalty. So I'm going to build it over here. Now let me walk you through the resources a little bit. So we have four main resources, ore, energy, research, and influence. Ore is used to uh, sustain population in cities and maintain buildings. Energy is to construct buildings and produce units. Research is self-explanatory and influence is uh, in order to maintain city tiles, invoke special abilities, and get hero units. Now, for some factions, you have like extra effects for different resources. For example, if you're playing as the orcs, the influence will affect how much damage your units do. Now here on the bottom, we can see how much of what we get per turn. And this population limit is essentially determining how much stuff you can build in a city. So that's pretty important. Now these are ruins. It's important to ex ex explore ruins because you can gain bonuses. So I'm going to grab these Necron Warriors and move them in. You can only move once per turn. So if you only move a little bit, you will lose the rest of the movement. Now we've got Powered Boss. Now we have to select a hero unit before claiming them. We don't have a hero unit right now, so we can't use it. But eventually it's going to lower our movement tax. This is actually not that great. Oh, actually, no, no, no. It reduces movement of the target enemy unit. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Now, remember, our units are fairly good at moving through everything. They don't seem to have that much of... Um, like they don't really take many terrain penalties so to speak so they're pretty cool in that sense so this could be useful like you could slow the enemy then move into difficult terrain and they cannot catch up now these things are weeds that do actually quite a lot of damage to you, these red things so you want to avoid it if you can now we're gonna choose our research we're gonna go for royal pyramid this is a building that produces heroes as well as it generates influence so we're going to need that so that we can pick up that item and now we're just going to end our turn As the proud leader of the Necrontin dynasty had never known defeat, never, until your people met the old ones and dared to attack their star-spanning empire. Your dynasty had been on the front line when the war with the old ones started, and you were some of the first to face their wrath. Your fringe worlds were scoured and your core worlds besieged for generations, when the Catan called the messenger, and now the deceiver. Promised your people immortality through biotransference into undying machine bodies you snatched at it greedily. Flesh must be destroyed. Later you betrayed him and his kind, shattering them into the Catan shards now used as weapons. To no avail, sadly. Though your new soulless bodies were nigh indestructible, even as the Empire collapsed, the old ones encircled your crown world and used their uncanny powers to trap you within it, driving their warp technology into its service, binding you to the depths. Retreated to the underground state tomb that Sharek, the Silent King, has ordered constructed, and waited for the final assault, which never came. Eventually you slept, awaiting the Silent King's call. Now, 60 million years have passed, and you have woken into chaos. Signs of battle between the Old One's humanoid creations litter the surface as do the Ancients' enemies' traps. These devastated your people upon awakening, leaving a few surviving tombs widely scattered. Through the warp storm, you can hear nothing from your overlord, Sharek. Where are the Old Ones? Who won the war? Is this another trap? Where are your Catan gods? You must investigate cautiously. Our first task is to quickly wake a core to defend against the Old One's forces. So we need to construct summoning core, produce warriors, and invoke rapid rise on warriors production. It's going to give us energy. Okay, I want to move a little bit ahead just to kind of see what we've got. So this, these are gates over here, and the gates, the enemy can use them to move in. Now, I, normally you shouldn't really be spreading out, but I kind of need to see, okay, another gate here. We're going to try to describe. You need to kind of see, like, what's around me. Okay, enemies incoming. Chaos Cultists. Now, we got Overwatch because we got ranged attack. Oh, we did like no damage. That's rough. No, no, no. Okay, can we do more damage here? It doesn't look like much damage. Okay, I'm gonna shoot. cannot move after shooting. I'm actually going to move into the ruins because I feel like it might give me a bonus. Yeah, we get increased healing rate and lowered uh, damage taken. 
So I do think it's a good idea to just kind of try to go with that. Be like, you know what? Let me make sure that... Also here, we should get some defense from being in the trees. Yeah, range damage reduction. Are they shooting range? Oh no, they're going into melee. No, no, they're shooting range, so we actually do take less damage. Why didn't we shoot at them? I uh, can... Uh, let's actually shoot. It's the shell, forget them. Oh, I love that one of them just dropped. I've got to say, they look very pretty. But also, I mean, they're the Necron Warriors. And they are made of flesh. And for that, they will die. Now, your city can also attack if the enemy is within range of that. Oh, we can shoot like this? Okay, don't do that. Let's just stay in position. I don't want them to move into the weeds because they would we would take a lot of damage that way. Okay, we're gonna have to go this way. Now our city gets the overwatch, so we get to shoot at these guys. Okay. Now we finished the research for Royal Pyramid, so we can build hero units now. The tomb of the Tharian, overlord or lord in his court. This is where all the most loyal and important retainers were treated to sleep, await the centuries, until the universe was ready again. Even now, great heroes still lie sleeping in its core, awaiting their lord's call. Let's just go and murder them. Right, and you shoot at them as well. For all time, curse the, the deceiver. And we'll tell our city to shoot. Yeah, please shoot at the, the cow's cultist. Yeah, they're almost dead. I hope that it's okay if they step into this area once because <laughs> otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. So we could get more research. We need to get two in order to unlock the next tier. We could increase the production of summoning cores. We could grant infantry the ability to teleport to cities and monoliths. This would be actually pretty useful right now. Building that produces ground vehicles as well as generates energy and increases loyalty. Increases the ore output. Are we going to actually take the hypostyle temple? I don't care that much about the vehicle units, but I do want to have uh, the ability to teleport into my cities. Because as we know, it would have been useful right now. Can I can I see the enemy? Oh, kind of hoping I'd be able to. Okay, here. Let's move there. Ah, oh, they're too far. I thought we would be able to shoot them, but they're actually running away too far. It's alright though. This will stay here. Now, can, did I finish my building? Not yet. One more turn. Okay. And then we could build a new infantry unit. Now, let's keep moving. Okay, we, uh, what is this? Enslavers. Okay, can we shoot them up? taking some damage. Alright, my other unit, uh, let's just move closer. We'll start hitting the gate. Now I can order my city. I would ideally like to acquire a new tile. What is the next thing you would like to build? I think I'd like to build the thing that gives me hero units. So Royal Pyramid. This generates influence. We have nothing, so sometimes it could be a good idea to go to somewhere where it's going to give you a bonus on influence. You don't actually have that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to acquire this tile. Because it doesn't give much of a bonus for anything else, so we can just place the unit we need there. Now, I'd like to produce Necron Warriors. It costs me 30 energy, 30 production. That's okay. So it's going to take us five turns, I think, to get there. Yeah. Because we get six production per turn in the summoning core. All right, so let's exit the city. End of turn. Well, they're moving on water. That's interesting. Ouch. Is, is it going to... Oh, wow. Okay, maybe, maybe we should backtrack. They're going to get an opportunity attack? Maybe. Finish the hypostyle temple. This high roof building is lined with pillars inside. Between them, the rest or float the great war machines of the Necrons. The activated doomsdays, arc annihilation barges, monoliths, and obelisks wait in seared ranks for the day when the Lord calls for their repair. Okay, now I kind of wish that I had the teleportation thing, but I'm gonna run away because these guys are way too tough for me. 
we could shoot or we could wait because as they come to me i'm gonna get overwatch i'm actually just going to use the repair to heal myself a little bit oh we could actually get him back no, uh, yeah, and we're just gonna wait. If they come to me, we're gonna activate the Overwatch. Now, this Trader Encampment allows me to gain more influence if I step on it, and also it will give me the option to trade uh, items if I have a hero. So it's actually a pretty useful thing. Yeah, we're gonna wait here with the Overwatch and just gonna, like, so that if they come, we can shoot back at them. Now, another research, we could get Canoptic Workers, increase the production outpost of Hypostyle Temples. That could be actually pretty good, because we could get new units faster. Hero units with the powerful support abilities. Cryptic. Allows Tomb Blades to ignore range damage. Building that increases population limit, increases the armor of Tomb Blades. I would like to get cryptic, but I don't I don't know if I can actually build a different I assume that the Royal Pyramid will have some hero available. I don't like that'd be my my assumption. Let's build the Canoptic workers first, I think. They want me to invoke rapid rise on warrior production. I need to have enough resources for that. I need to have 94 influence. So we should definitely focus on building something that gives us influence soon. Okay, so they're not coming to me. I thought they would be coming to us, but they're like, no. In that case, let's move closer and start shooting at these other... Wespid sting wings. And here we'll just keep destroying the gate. Now, in the city, I'm gonna first, I think, build something that just gives me influence. Let's build it. Oh, actually, I was gonna build the hero building. Well, but then we're gonna run almost fully out of ore. And this generates influence. So let's do it, but we're gonna have to build an ore building next. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Oh, there's so many enemies here. We can heal because it costs us 60 influence. Still, we should be able to shoot them up pretty easily. Okay. Now you... Do we want to come back and help now? Let's keep because if we run away from this area, they're just gonna come back at us. That's not useful. And all one side effect. Is that what we're calling enemies? All one side effect. I kind of like it. I mean, they're super mean, but I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, do we want to fight against more cows? Call next time. Sure, why not? It's just what we do. Let's just shoot them up. Uh, I know I should be destroying the gate, but like there's like too much enemies around to focus on the gate. Is he running? No. Okay. Got one of mine actually. It's a bit rough. Still, I think we're just gonna keep. I could potentially just like take a step back. And be like, hey, if you come to me... I am just going to... Actually, I can just shoot immediately. Okay. Uh, we're gonna kill... We're gonna move... No, we're just gonna kill this. Okay. Now I, now, I have a new unit that needs to move this way to help out. And then... And we're losing ore, so in my city, I'm gonna need to start building. Sleeps production until cancelled. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to disable this. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna need to build a uh, harvest ore. 
but we're already building something here. So I guess we're gonna have to wait those few turns without actually building uh, anything. We'll wait three more turns and we'll acquire a new tile and then we're gonna build the new ore thing. Also, I would love to get this thing. Canoptic workers. Assigning Canoptic constructor to maintain and repair the warrior's long dormant war machines greatly speeds up their refurbishments. Okay. Now let's move into this trader encampment. It'll give us a little extra implant and allows us to shoot at the enemies. Okay. Now we'll move our other unit over. Now we keep shooting at the gate over here. And here is Valkus. Nothing better to do. And we can pick a new research. I'm gonna get the teleportation now. I think that's pretty cool. Now, how much longer? Two more turns for the Royal Pyramid and then we need to build the Harvest Ore. Rashi Square in production. No, but they want us to use this on the summoning core. Should I build another unit? I can because I'm going to lose my ore. So I actually have to wait right now. Ooh, what? Ooh. Okay. Okay. A lot of units. A lot of units. Not great. What did they do to me? Spawn a Psych 9 when dying. Interesting. Maybe we should uh, heal. Actually, we don't need to heal just yet. I'm going to take a step back and then I'm going to shoot at these big enslavers because they're kind of like the toughest thing we've got. Here we're going to just keep shooting at the enemy that's right next to us. And I'm actually going to move there to help out. Yeah, this is gonna hurt a little bit. But we can heal now if they don't kill us fully. Yeah, we're gonna need to heal. So we're now back to nine hit points. Okay. So whatever was there ran away. So we're gonna move, we're gonna move a step. I don't know if I can shoot over there. Let's move closer and just shoot. We can kill one of the three. And then this unit will move closer. We can't get close enough to shoot at these, but we'll try. Yeah, okay. We now need to build like ASAP this building that harvests ore. Do it. And I'm also thinking, let's actually grab the Royal Pyramid. Can I? If I just turn it off, I can still turn it on. Okay, so I'm actually going to turn both of these off. I wasn't sure if it's, it's allowed me to turn it off without like a penalty or if it's going to be complicated to turn it back on, but we can just like regularly turn it off. For all time, cursed the deceiver. Oh, this in this so dead. There's like one guy left with two HP. Damage exceeds expectations. We got dimensional corridor. Okay, so I could teleport. I need 30 influence for that, so I can't even teleport him, him home. 3.7 I'm gonna run this way and shoot at the... Actually, could I just heal? Now let's just shoot. And we'll shoot at the enslavers as well. And I'm gonna... Oh, I can't shoot with this other unit. That's okay. We'll be able to shoot next turn, I think. Yeah, we'll keep the overwatch in case they come closer. Now, next thing I would like to get is... We're gonna increase the output of my queries. So, we'll just end our turn. Oh, the overwatch here did... Oh, yeah, it act I was gonna say. It didn't activate. It did. Good, 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 good. No, they keep hitting these guys. These guys are gone, I think. 
No, one of them. All systems are operational. I may be the only one left, but I will give my life to destroy all the flesh beings. Okay. Uh, let's move a step closer and shoot at these sting wings. And here we're gonna shoot at the at our enemies here. Take another step back, please, and also shoot at the Psych 9. Good job. Okay, how are we doing in our cities? Two more turns to get the ore thing, and then we can start getting more stuff. Wow, they teleport for super far. I would love to follow up with the towards the enslavers, and the reason for that is because otherwise they're just gonna heal up. It's gonna be bad for me. I, I can't let that happen. I need to really kind of finish off the enemies. I know this unit is super weak, but they're gonna have to kind of be healing up on the go. Oh, let's hit the gate. I'm just not gonna let you just like not do anything. I am here to serve. Exit city in my turn. Yeah, with the space slip, they can move very far. Are they gonna die? I sound so excited when I ask that every time. Okay, putting some faith in the enslaved young races of Old One creation and improving their lot might seem foolish, but increases productivity. Great. Do we have the thing? We do have the thing. So now we're gaining ore. So, I would like to get myself a lord but for that i need 80 influence we should actually start trying to acquire a new tile something that allows me to gain oh we don't have, still don't have anything for influence so let's just gain this this is going to give us a bit more energy and we're going to start by shooting at the what is this called psych nine. i could teleport home but yeah Let's just be brave. So kill these. Um... Yeah, they're dead. These enemies and new research. Shield vein increases the armor of tomb blades. Sure. I'll just increase the output of the summoning core. That seems like a better choice. I know I should be protecting them, but I like so don't care whether they don't play or die. <laughs> also, it's kind of like a good story if they just like keep going. Do not let anyone stop you. Yeah. yeah, nice. Could you please keep moving? I really gotta find those enslavers. I mean, I don't have to, but I would like to. How much longer for our hero? Oh, uh, forever, because we don't have the influence. I'm gonna produce another Necron Warrior unit because we've got the ore for it right now. Oh, but it says 99 turns because we don't have that much production. Oh well, I'll leave it. What are, they, are they healing themselves? What are they doing? No, don't come this way. Also, why can't I see them here? Like, this is where my city is, I should be able to see. But it's fine. What is this? Mobile holo projector. It's invulnerable. Increases the hit points over your units. Oh, so we can get like an upgrade? I probably should have used it on the unit that was injured. Let's just keep hitting this gate. Over here. That was interesting. Okay, I can order a city. I think we're gonna need an influence building. Construct still I. Yeah, let's do it. So we need to activate the rapid rise, and I can't do that until I have enough influence for this. Just moving super slowly here. Yeah, increases hit points of your units. Interesting. 
Yeah, so if I move next with the, with this unit that doesn't have the full HP, I might be able to activate it. And I'll have to wait and see. Okay, core refinements. Yes. And let's go. So you keep hitting the gate. You move adjacent to this. Can't use the mobile thing just yet. Okay. And here we're gonna keep moving upwards. No enemies around. That's okay. Okay, new research. Shelter. Building that increases population limit. Sure. Okay, now we get a lot of influence. So now you might be able to pick not yet the rapid rise. Okay, not yet. How are we doing on the hero unit, by the way? Oh, we still can't do that because we still don't have the implants. But next turn, we'll be able to... We have waited millennia. We will wait millennia more. I mean, I'd like to make it faster, but... Okay, whatever. Unless my lord tells me to do it faster. Then I'll do it faster. So if I step... I can't step onto it. So how do I activate this... Or is it that they have increased hinged points? Maybe it's just like passively, like when I'm around it? I, I don't know. Don't exactly know how that works. Okay, so we found the enslavers. That's good to know. They're back to almost full HP though, that's a little unfortunate. Alright, I need my lord. Someone give me a lord, please. Do we want another or rest or facility? I think we do. They're running. Oh, they're just running to attack another unit of mine. Okay. How about we move backwards towards this mobile projector as well? Yeah, let's run back one step and. Why can I hit them? It's kind of weird that you can't hit them straight through. Oh, I guess that's fine. I'm just gonna move in that direction. Now the Lord is going to take five turns. It's gonna take a long time to get it. So they activated some sort of negative effect on me. Mind control reduces the morale. So that's not great. Yeah, I'm just gonna start shooting because we, we are getting them down. I'm getting down to one from three. They only have 12 HP left, so that's definitely a useful thing. Here we're gonna move next to the projector and we'll start hitting at the South Nines. You can also kill one here. <laughs> just says, hey! <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. It's actually different in it than the one that was being decimated at the beginning, but... We don't let that stop us. Okay, we killed it. Be it. Be it. Okay, we'll let the weaker units finish it off then. No! I thought it would be such an epic ending. They'll just like kill it, but they're like, no. Uh, and now I'm afraid that they're gonna run away. Yeah, and we're not that great with movement. Like, we don't have that much movement. I can't. I mean, I'm gonna try, but I don't think I can. Shoot it. Can I? Yeah, like, we can only move, like, one step. Well, we'll keep trying. Two more turns for my lord, and we'll gotta acquire a new tile as always. Let's get this one. I kinda said we can't kill that thing. But it's standing there, so maybe we could walk towards it now. Please don't walk away. Please stay. 
Come on, stay for me. Okay, we got our shelters. Come on, come on, come on. Ha! Ah, it stayed. I'm gonna murder it now. Bye bye. Look at that. And with that epic thing, we're gonna end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down the comments, and you can click on the right to watch some other games that we play on this, some other Warhammer games that we play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye.